Tesla's now valued more than Ford, Apple's new thing for GPUs, and his royal hairness, Red Foo joins us for the show. It's Monday, April 3rd, and this is Crunch Report. What is up, Tech Crunch Land? It's a brand new day. It's Monday. We got some tech news and have a special guest, Rev Fu, formerly of LMFAO, a DJ, a tennis player, a day trader, and a programmer. Ooh, ooh! When we talked on the phone, we ended up talking on the phone for like two and a half hours. Everything about this dude is sexy, and anything that he talks about, we love. Thanks for joining us on the show today, Red Foo. Oh man, listen, when I let, I'm gonna tell you something really quick. Okay. You are one good-looking fella, Tito. Oh well, thank you. But you know, I got to say, you are better looking. No, 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 no. Than on a, me. On a scale of one to ten, okay. you're like way out here. Like you're you're in a field. You're on a field of your own, a, a place of your own, like the Olympics. Yeah, well, you're in the field of dreams, baby, because you are in my dreams every night. What? Oh my God, stop it, Tito. How did you stop it, Red Foo? Come on, Foo. You're the best. You're better. No, you're number one. Greater. The <laughs> greatest. Less is more. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! love us a little product hunt, finding new apps before our friends and being cooler than them. They ask for help and we're like, yeah, this app does X and Y solving your problem, forever spitting in your best friend's face and reiterating that you're better than them. At least that's how I am with my friends. Well, Product Hunt wants to make that even easier. Today, Product Hunt is launching Ask Product Hunt, a community-powered search engine designed to help people find the products they're looking for. Essentially, Product Hunt is calling on their community to recommend the best products to users who either missed the products when they were featured on the homepage or just forgot they existed. Here's the gist of it. Users submit questions like, what's a good place to find cheap flights? People then see these questions and submit their own answers, each of which is tied to a product on Product Hunt. Then you can upvote answers or mark it helpful if it was helpful. The startup says that Ask Product Hunt will be the biggest change to the platform since they were acquired by AngelList late last year. Do you use Product Hunt? Have you ever been on there? You know what? I haven't been on there, but uh, I'm excited to get on there because I need to know what apps I need to know. Yeah. If that, that makes sense. And, and you also cr have created some apps and uh, pro and like you're into programming, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm into programming. I'm learning uh, Udity, 3D, and 2D. Uh, I made a, 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 a DJ app, Beat Rock, uh, with another colleague. I mean, he did the programming. I just told him the ideas. Yeah, I was yeah. just the director. Um, and uh, I'm into 3D printing, and so I'm doing. Some how did you get, how, how did you get into 3D printing? It's such a. I, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> you know, I mean, I got ideas flowing, and uh, I actually. Made you some stuff. What'd you make? I made you something, man. I now this it. solves the problem. When, you know how people want to steal your USB uh, cables or your block and everything. Yeah, story of my life. My mom. I Th that's it. right. Well, I got something for your mom. Let me. <laughs> what you give me? I got something for your mom right here. Boom. What? Tito's USB dough. What is that? Okay, what it's is a that? plate that I 3D printed yeah. and then printed on here. And what you do is when someone needs to borrow your charger or something, you boom, you put it together, you put it into the now, wall. And now everybody knows that that's mine. That's right, that's right. And if people try to steal it, like two dudes come up and be like, yo man, we should take that block. And the other dude says, but that's Tito's USB though. 
<laughs> and they don't steal it. See, that, that's a perfect item for something that could be thrown on product hunt. Yes, yes. And I believe me, I've asked the question. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm about to ask that question and see if they know about this because you know I already put it on the web. What? You can buy it already. My mind is blown. My mind is blown. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you Tesla's can you can get it. You can get your own. Ford. And I'll give you Apple's a royalty. Thing I, just can't because I, love I can't accept and his royal hairness. Oh, Red Food joins, joins us many, for many the show. And I will it's the Monday, <laughs> April 3rd. And, and this but is you can, it's, actually, it, it's actually pretty cool. It's, it's a great idea. Yeah. Tito's USB dot com. Okay. T I T O U S B Do. No. U S B D O. I D O. Okay. USB though. Like, I like it. You like know what I mean? Libido. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two car companies. You got the young and hip 13 year old Tesla and the OG 100 year old Ford. They both manufacture cars, but they couldn't be more different, yet the same, yet different. Now the value of Tesla has surpassed that of Ford. Tesla is trading up on the day, sending its market cap to 47.46 billion, and Ford is trading down on the day, causing its market cap to dip to 44.89 billion. So why did this happen now? This fluctuation and valuation comes on the back of Tesla reporting good news and Ford reporting bad news. Tesla saw vehicle production and deliveries rise during the first quarter of the year at a pace that beat analysts' expectations. Meanwhile, Ford is recalling some of its F-150 pickup trucks and its US monthly sales fell 7% during last month. But it's not all that it seems. Tesla is in deep debt and only shipped some 76,000 vehicles last year. Other automakers like Ford ship millions of cars each year and have a more healthy balance sheet with annual revenues and profits that far eclipse that of the 13-year-old startup. Them Teslas, am I right? Are you an Elon Musk fanboy? You know what? Uh, I, I am. I am. I am a fan because I think Tesla is the new Apple. Really? Pe yeah, because people just get excited about anything the concept, to do with Tesla. The concept of it, the the electric car, they're yeah. making batteries. They got the SpaceX. I mean, ha half the reporting that we do is basically Elon Musk doing like crazy shit. E eBay. It, it, I mean, not eBay, but is he into <laughs> PayPal? Is that is that the same? That was him way back in the day. You see what I'm talking about? Um, when you buy a Tesla, it's not just for the car, mm -hmm. it's for, you're saying something to the world. You're saying something to your friends. Yeah. You're saying, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich! What do you drive? Uh, I Curiosity. drive a 1975 Jeep. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a convertible. All electric? I'm pretty sure good on gas? Eco front. <laughs> I can convert it. <laughs> I, I, I will get the corn. I'll put the corn in there and, and, and convert it up. Science. Um, yeah. So I found this super interesting and awesome. We talked about this a little bit. Like you're a day trader. Yeah. You do day trading. Yeah. How did you how did you get into that? I got into it way back when, um, you know, uh, my father, my father is uh, wanted to teach his kids about trading stocks. So he gave us. Uh, some money, all of the all of the sons and and daughters, and we and we competed, yeah. and whoever made the most money at, in a certain period of time, like six months, then we got to keep the money that he loaned us, and uh, I, I didn't win that game, <laughs> so I said I'm going for real, and I'm going in, and I was day trading. I had Apple, I had two thousand shares of Apple at thirteen dollars a share, right after nine eleven. And then I sold it all and I lost it all on penny stocks. So now I still day trade, but now I just do the index, the S&P. Um, and how are, you, how are you doing on, how, how's it going? It's going good. Today didn't go that well <laughs> because I didn't see my, my, my crunch report. Yeah. And I would have known that Tesla was, was going up and Ford was going down. I didn't know that stuff. You got to be in the know. Man, Tito, you gotta you gotta get me some of these before the market opens. Oh man, that can't do it. No, uh, hey, okay, let's not let's not okay. get <laughs> that's insider stuff. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy Monday mornings generally are not that great, but no matter how bad your morning is, at least you don't have stock in imagination technologies. Hopefully, this is what imagination technology stock looked like for the last year. Now, here's the last year plus this morning. Yeah, haven't seen anything drop like that since Flowrider back in 08. No, no, no.
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who could possibly be the culprit for such filth? Facebook? Google? What about Uber? Just because they seem like it. Nope. This time it was Apple, folks. Imagination Technologies released a statement saying that Apple was planning to cease using its IP for future graphics chips. And no more IP means a massive loss of revenue for the British tech firm. Mac Rumors is reporting that Apple has been poaching engineers from Imagination to build its own GPUs. Of course, Imagination is taking the official stance of, go jump off a cliff. Passively aggressively noting that it would be difficult for Apple to go it alone without infringing on its intellectual property. Do you really think that you're going to be able to scale the platform without me? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, you don't think we can? Well, I, I, I know you can't. That's a bold statement. What's the worst Monday you've ever had? Because this seems kind of bad for some people. Man, uh, the worst Monday. Oh, yeah, we, we did a show on Sunday in Vegas. And yeah. uh, I didn't wake up till Tuesday. That what? Was, that was my worst Monday. I missed the whole Monday. What would you do if this was the stock chart of your company this morning? Oh. Like, what, what would you do if this was stock chart? Like, <laughs> Apple and Imagination have been working together for years. Would yeah. you try to renegotiate or go build this on your own, knowing that you would probably have to litigate? Like, w would you build this company yeah, on yeah, by yourself, yeah, or do you think saying. Apple should stay with, with this company? If, 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 if Apple is their number one... Uh, um, you know, customer. Imagination should almost cater to them. Should almost right. like just be like, we'll, we'll do whatever. Yeah, I think they need to do that, but I think they do need to take a hard stance legally, and uh, make it difficult for them to be able to do this because they've got IPs, so they gotta you know check with Apple and check with the law. Uh, but it's got to be heartbreaking for them. And Apple might have a good reason. Maybe they were hijacking the prices. You never know. Yeah. Maybe uh, you know they were uh, mad at them in the in the kitchen. You know, maybe they were fighting over the coffee. Yeah, you never you know. know. The hazelnut. You know, oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> we gonna stop using the, the graphics, uh huh? <laughs> stealing my hazelnut. Don't f*** with the uh, Red Foods Hazelnut. That's right, don't f*** That's the Rupo for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report is every week, airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. Red Foo, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it so much. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much, Tito, man. This has been a dream come true, baby. <laughs> we're re we were separated at birth. And now we're back together. That's right. Dreams, the world. dreams do come true. They do. They do, baby. All right, you can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube and on Alexa. And what, what have you been up to? you have any new music or anything? Yeah, I got some new stuff. Brand new day. Um, and it's on Spotify. And uh, I just dropped the remix. And yep. uh, I'm, I'm doing that. I'm going to Spain this summer for a whole tour. And uh, we just party rocking, bringing the world together, uniting as one. <laughs> and uh, doing it for fun. I love it, man. I love it. Well, yeah, congratulations man. on everything, and thanks Thank for you. being here today. Thank you. Man. All right, and everybody out there, see you tomorrow. <laughs>